guys, so I'm going to start off with a few questions. First of all, raise your hand if you love the beach, you love to be outside. Me too. Raise your hand if you've ever been sunburned. All this, I get sunburned every time I go outside, so like, you know, I'm one of those people. Um, and I just want to scare you a little bit, but did you know that one sunburn every two years increases your risk of melanoma skin cancer by 3%? So think like if you get sunburned like multiple times a year like I do, like your risk for melanoma like skyrockets. And that's according to cancerresearchuk.org. Um, and so over the summer, I interned for a company in Portland, Maine, and I had to write a lot of blog posts for the Center for Disability Awareness. And so I had to write one on skin cancer, and I didn't really know much about it because uh, I get sunburned all the time. I just am that kind of person. And so this really um, humbled me a little bit to kind of take my skin more seriously. And so I want to inform you guys on sun damage and skin cancer. So sun exposure, too much of it is not a good thing. A little bit, you know, moderation is good, but too much sun equals skin cancer. Um, and results of too much sun exposure are precancerous and cancerous skin lesions, benign tumors, um, fine and coarse wrinkles, uh, discolored skin, and elastosis. And elastosis is basically when the collagen in your skin is eliminated and destroyed, and so your skin will have that nat like natural like, bounce to it, and it will just kind of sag and droop. So obviously, like you have to avoid the sun to not get skin cancer or the tanning bed, but also UV rays are a big factor in it, and there's two types. Um, they're also the UV rays are a threat to healthy aging skin. So even if you're not, you know, getting sunburned, your skin, skin will still age by 80% just by the UV rays, and you, they're most commonly <coughs> exposed through sunlight or tanning beds. And there's two main types of UV rays. There's UVB rays and UVA rays. And UVB rays are what burns your skin, and then UVA rays penetrate deep down to the hypodermis of your skin, which causes photoaging, which causes the wrinkling, and also develops skin cancer um, in the keratinocytes. And keratinocytes is where your keratin cells, where your keratin is formed, which helps you maintain healthy hair, skin, and nails. Um, and UVA is also 30 to 50 times more prevalent than UVB rays, so it's everywhere. It accounts for the Earth's 95% of the Earth's radiation. Um, leading, the leading form of cancer in the U.S. is skin cancer, um, and you can see here like the two main types are basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma, and they make up for I think 95% of skin cancer, and they're non-melanoma skin cancers, so they're not necessarily life-threatening. However, um, they are still something to be taken seriously, and they are curable if caught early enough, so it's really important to know your skin. Um, and the third, obviously, is melanoma, and that's caused by multiple sunburns before the age of 18, which scared me a little bit because I'm over 18, and I know most of us are 18 or older in here. And so, you know, you kind of start thinking about back, you know, when you're younger and you're getting sunburned or you don't care, you go to the beach and you're not wearing sunscreen, and so I, start, I started to get a little nervous. <laughs> Um, so more about melanoma, um, it's the most serious form of skin cancer, and 75% of skin cancer-related deaths are caused by melanoma. Um, and it, <coughs> melanoma is the abnormal pigmentation in your melanocytes, which is where your melanin is produced, and melanin is what gives you the color of your skin. Um, and if left untreated, it can be spread to other organs. So say you get skin cancer, you don't know you have it. Um, it can get into your bloodstream, and it can travel to your brain, your heart, your lungs, and it can potentially kill you in that way. And then I put this little cartoon in here. Um, he's jumping out of a plane and he's like, who needs a parachute? And he's jumping into the water with a shark and who needs a shark cage? But he's out here and he's like, who needs sunscreen? Like, that's how, I feel like that's my mentality. Like, obviously I'm going to have a parachute. Obviously I'm going to be in a cage to protect myself from a shark, but sun, like it's just the sun. Like I don't need sunscreen, but it's life-threatening just like those who are life-threatening and we need to take it seriously. And so how do I spot melanoma? What do I do? How do I know if I have it? Um, you follow the A, B, C, D, E rule. Um, a is for symmetry, so you want to look if you have a spot or something that you're concerned about. Make sure it's the same on both sides and that one side is not bigger or more uneven than the other. And then B is your borders. Make sure your edges aren't, you know, really harsh or blurred or just kind of funky like that one just doesn't really have any kind of rhyme or reason to it. And then color, you want to make sure it's all the same color. If there's any kind of darkness or if it's like got a white spot or blue or black, you want to keep an eye on it. As well as the diameter, you don't want it to be bigger than six millimeters. And I know it's weird to like measure a mole on your arm, but if it looks weird and like huge, get it checked out. As well as evolving, if you notice something new on your body and you don't recognize it or you just never noticed it before, and it starts to change in size, shape, or color, 
definitely get that checked out. So prevention. Uh, obviously, wear sunscreen when you're exposed to direct sunlight. SPF 30 is your best bet. Anything higher than that is also good. Um, and then zinc oxide is what you're going you're gonna to need for UVB protection, which is what penetrates, it's, which is what gives you the actual sunburn. Um, and then they have clothing, cosmetics, and contact lenses with UV protection. I know, like some of the, some like foundation for your makeup like has SPF in it, and that's really important to think about if you're going to be out like on the boat at the beach at Disney World, anything like that. And then the sun has like a peak a peak hours from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., especially in the summertime, and that's when the sun is at its most hottest, and that's when you're going to get the worst sunburn possible. So try to avoid if you can, and if you're going to be out during that time, take the precautions. And lastly, know your skin and know when to see a dermatologist. If you see something different or something you don't recognize you haven't seen before, definitely you know keep an eye on it and know when to go to the doctor. And so, in conclusion, don't get sunburned. Prevent skin cancer as much as you possibly can. Uh, be smart about your skin and know your skin and know when it's time to go and see a dermatologist.